Hello. In this video, we are going to be solving literal equations. Solving literal equations is another way of saying take an equation or a formula with variables and solve for one of the variables. So if we look at example A, it says solve A equals BH for B. So just because this has letters in it, it does not make it harder, right? It's just we're taking the same inverse operations that we did earlier in this unit and we're applying it to a formula. So just because it has letters, you're going to use the same things that you already know, except instead of getting a number for an answer, your answer will still contain variables and that is okay. So I want to get B alone. Right now, B is being multiplied by H. How do we undo multiplication? Division. And so I am going to divide both sides by H. So I'll have A divided by H is equal to B. B is alone, so we have solved for B. This is your answer. If you would like, you could write it so that B is in front. But either way, this is correct. Your answer is B equals A divided by H. There's nothing else that you need to do. On example two, it says solve A equals S squared for S. The inverse operation of a square is a square root. So to undo a square, we would take the square root of both sides. So I would have the square root of A is equal to S because the square undoes the square root. On example three, it says solve P equals 2L plus 2W for W. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get 2W alone. So I need to move 2L to the other side. 2L is positive, so to undo it, I will need to subtract it. I'm making my L a cursive lowercase l, that way I don't confuse it for a 1. It's really important when you have formulas that you keep the letters capital that are capital and lowercase that are lowercase. Notice how here my A stayed capital and my H stayed lowercase. Same thing here for my A and my S. You always need to keep the letters the same capitalization that it already has because, you know, a capital W could mean something different than a lowercase w. So whenever you're working with formulas, it's important to keep the punctuation that is already there. I don't know what P minus 2L is, right? They're not like terms. I cannot add or subtract them. So what you do with something like this is you just write it side by side. So P minus 2L is just P minus 2L. I'm going to bring down my equal sign. 2L minus 2L is 0. And I'll bring down my 2W. I still want to get W by itself. W is being multiplied by 2. How do we undo multiplication? Division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So on the left side, I'm just going to keep it the same way that it is. P minus 2L divided by 2. And on the right side, I'll get W. W is by itself, so we have solved this equation for W. The answer is W equals P minus 2L divided by 2. On example 4, maybe you recognize this formula, y equals mx plus b. This is the slope-intercept form. We'll be doing this in our next part of our unit. And this equation tells us, or this problem tells us to solve this equation for b. So I want to get b alone. Right now I'm adding mx to b. To undo addition, I'm going to do subtraction. Y and MX are not like terms, so I am just going to write them side by side. 
mx minus mx is zero, and I'm gonna bring down the b. We have solved for b, it's isolated on one side of the equation, so this is our answer, b equals y minus mx. On example five, it says solve q equals c plus d divided by two for c. When you have a problem like this, that has the variable that you wanna get alone in a fraction, you need to get rid of that denominator first and make it not a fraction anymore. Having this denominator here is just like saying we are dividing by two. How do I undo division? Multiplication. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by two. Two times Q is two Q and two divided by two is one. So that leaves me with C plus D. Now I wanna get C alone. Well, to undo addition, I'll do subtraction and I'll subtract the letter D on both sides. 2Q minus D will stay that way. I'll bring down my equal sign. I'll bring down C. D minus D is zero. So my answer is 2Q minus D is equal to C. Example six is a little special case scenario. It says solve Q equals 3A plus 5AC for the variable A. 3A and 5AC are not like terms because this one has a C and this one does not. I can't just subtract this one over to the other side because it will still have an A in it and I need all the A's on one side of the equation. What we need to do here is something called using the distributive property backwards. So it's like I had an A out in front here and then I distributed it to both of these terms. If I did A times something, I would have gotten 3A. Well, that would have been if I had a three there because A times three is 3A and then a times something else would have given me 5ac. Well, that would have been 5c because a times 5c is 5ac. So what we did here was use the distributive property backwards. If you're interested in this stuff, what we just did was we found a greatest common factor. In this case, A was the greatest common factor between these two terms, and we factored it out. You are gonna learn more about how to do this in unit four next semester. So now I only have one A, and I wanna get that A alone. Well, this A is being multiplied by three plus five C. How do I undo multiplication? Division. So I'm just gonna divide both sides by three plus five C. So on the left side of my equation, I'll have Q over three plus five C is equal to A. We have gotten A alone on one side of our equation. And so we have solved this equation for the variable A. Go ahead and pause this video and go ahead and solve examples seven and eight. On example seven, I wanna solve V equals three K divided by T for T. T is in the denominator. You cannot solve for a variable that is in the denominator. So your very first step is going to be to get T out of the denominator by multiplying both sides of your equation by t. So I'll have tv is equal to 3k. I still wanna get t alone. t is being multiplied by v. To undo multiplication, I'll do division. 
and I'll have t equals 3k divided by v. On example 8, if it helps, um, you could rewrite this so that it's a times uh, pi, a equals pi r squared. So if I want to get r alone, the first thing I would do is I would divide both sides by pi. So I'm going to have a divided by pi is equal to r squared. To undo a square, we're going to take the square root of both sides. And so I'll have the square root of a divided by pi is equal to r. And this would be my answer.